Oh, hello there. I'm here to talk about circular motion. Circular motion is where anything, an object like this, moves in a circle. Other examples of circular motion are this. And this. To study circular motion, you first need a circle. The construction of a circle is a complex process. In this instance, a ruler is being used as the radius, and a rope is being used to show the circumference. Circular motion! This is yet another example of centripetal force. There is water in the bottom of the bucket. As Peter is spinning around, the water is trapped at the bottom of the bucket. If he were to let go, the water would collapse. This same concept is used in many day-to-day uh, -day situations, such as fairground rides. That's science. Circular motion occurs due to physics, the superior of the subjects. As Tom Chuffings increases in velocity, the tension needed from James increases to maintain an orbit. At a certain velocity, the smaller the radius, the shorter time the full orbit will complete itself. Tom Chuffings, do you remember when you fell over? Be more careful this time, Jevlings. I like circular motion. Okay. Circumference equals pi times d. Half of circumference divided by two. Yes, it's half pi. So the distance travelled is pi meters. Distance is divided by. 3.81 seconds with a speed of 0 0.82 meters per second. Circular motion. This is an example of circular motion. Oh, <laughs> 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 